Hello everyone. Today we are going to see about the bilinear transformation technique, which is one of the techniques used to convert an analog transfer function into a digital transfer function. So this is the problem. That is, apply bilinear transformation to H of S is equal to 2 by S plus 1 into S plus 2 with capital T is equal to 1 second. Find H of Z. We know that if you have S term, then it is called analog transfer function. That is H of S is analog transfer function. And we need to convert this analog transfer function into a digital transfer function, which is represented by H of Z using bilinear transformation techniques. So this is also one of the techniques used to convert an analog transfer function into a digital transfer function. So given H of S is equal to 2 by S plus 1 into S plus 2. Now, what we have to do is, in order to convert H of S into H of Z, we need to substitute S is equal to 2 by capital T, 1 minus Z inverse by 1 plus Z inverse in H of S in order to get H of Z. So, hence, H of Z is equal to H of S, where S is substituted by 2 by t, 1 minus z inverse by 1 plus z inverse. So, what is the h of s value? It is 2 divided by s plus 1 into s plus 2, where s is equal to 2 by t, 1 minus z inverse by 1 plus z inverse. So, given t is equal to 1 second, supposing if t is not given in your problem, you, have, you can assume t is equal to 1 second. Okay, so H of A Z becomes 2 divided by, so instead of S, what we have to do, you have to substitute 2 by T, 1 minus Z inverse by 1 plus Z inverse and here T value is 1. Okay, so substitute instead of S, I am substituting 2 by 1, 1 minus Z inverse by 1 plus Z inverse plus 1 into here Again, I'm having the S plus 2 term. So, similarly, S is replaced by 2 by 1, 1 minus Z inverse by 1 plus Z inverse plus 2. Okay. Now, this can be written as H of Z is equal to 2 by, here 2 by 1 is 2. So, 2 into 1 minus Z inverse by 1 plus Z inverse plus 1 into 2 into 1 minus Z inverse by 1, 1 plus Z inverse plus 2. Now, 2 divided by, see listen, here I am taking 1 plus Z inverse as the LCM. So, one, 1 plus Z inverse is the LCM. So, here this term becomes 2 into 1 minus Z inverse plus 1 into 1 plus Z inverse. So, here this term is over and come to the second term. Here also I have taken 1 plus Z inverse as the LCM. So, here in the numerator I will be getting 2 into 1 minus Z inverse plus 2 into this term that is 1 plus Z inverse. Okay. Now, listen here I am having 1 plus Z inverse term and here I am having 1 plus Z inverse term. So, these two terms will go to this numerator and 1 plus Z inverse into 1 plus Z inverse is 1 plus Z inverse the whole square. So, what will happen? H of Z becomes 2 into 1 plus Z inverse the whole square divided by, you just multiply 2, 2 into 1 is 2 minus 2 into Z inverse, 1 into 1 is plus 1 plus 1 into Z inverse is plus Z inverse. Okay, come to the second term. So, here 2 into 1 is 2 minus 2 into z inverse is minus 2 z inverse plus 2 into 1 is 2, 2 into z inverse is 2 z inverse. Okay, now 2 plus 1 plus z inverse, the whole square divided by 2 plus 1 becomes 3 and minus 2 z inverse plus z inverse will become minus z inverse into, listen, this minus 2 z inverse and this plus 2 z inverse will get cancelled. And I am having only the constant term, which is 2 plus 2, which is 4. So, this 2 and this 4 will get cancelled and I will be getting 1 by 2. So, 1 plus Z inverse, the whole square divided by 3 minus Z inverse into 2. 
which is equal to 1 minus z inverse the whole square divided by 3 into 2 is 6 minus 2 into z inverse is minus 2 z inverse. And listen, I since I need that the denominator term, it should be in terms of 1 minus term. So that's why I'm taking the 6 outside. Okay. So here the numerator remains the same. That is 1 minus z inverse the whole square. Since I need the constant term to be 1, I have taken 6 outside. So if I take 6 outside, then I will be getting 6 by 6 is 1. Okay, so 1 minus 2 by 6 into z inverse. Okay, so see listen, if you multiply 6 into 1 minus 2 by 6 into z inverse, you should get this term. Listen, 6 into 1 is 6 minus 2 by 6 z inverse into 6, 6, 6 will get cancelled. I will be getting minus 2 z inverse. Okay. So, when we uh, do this, here 1 divided by 6. See here, the, in the numerator I am having 1. So, 1 divided by 6 value is 0. 0.166. Okay. 0. 0.166 into 1 minus z inverse the whole square divided by 1 minus 2 by 6 value is 0. 0.33. Z inverse. So the digital transfer function h of z is equal to 0. 0.166 into 1 minus z inverse the whole square divided by 1 minus 0.33 z power minus 1. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much.